Hey guys, welcome back for another demo. Okay, so this might look like a unicorn horn, but it is not. It is a narwhal tusk. How cute is that? Okay, so this is her version of the unicorn horn, obviously, and I think it's really cute that she just put a different name on it and um, kind of put her own little twist on it. She calls this the unicorn of the sea, which I think is just really cute. Okay, so the scent of this is musk, sandalwood, chamomile, and a little bit of citrus. And this is definitely a unisex scent. I smell the musk and um, the sandalwood in it the most, but it's a really nice scent. So I think these colors are really pretty. I think they're different uh, for the unicorn horn or the narwhal tusk. So um, I can't wait to see the pretty colors it makes because my lighting is, I think, pretty good in here right now. So let's pop it in and see what it looks like. Such a pretty teal. It's like a teal green for sure. Or, I don't know, it's maybe getting to be a, t a Kelly green. Now that it's mixing with the yellow a little bit. Ooh, it's really strong. It's nice. It smells like my husband, actually. So, it is very, very much a unisex scent, but it's really nice. I really like it. And I don't think that you guys can tell. It's really, I don't know, it's getting kind of blue. It's getting, it's a really pretty blue-green. I wasn't expecting that color as much, but it's really, really pretty. I was expecting more of a lime color after the green mixed with the Sorry, yellow. I'm not sure. <sighs> Sometimes I just want to take her out of here, but I really do enjoy listening to the music when I'm in the tub, so evidently she just misunderstands every once in a while. <laughs> oh my gosh. There's your comic relief for this demo. Okay, so I think it's almost fizzed out. Oh, just the last little bit of it. Um, unicorn horn shapes are um, they're not very big but they're usually really colorful and since they have a spin on them they put on a really nice show even though they don't last very long and I'm telling you this is a really really strong scent so let's back up a little bit and see isn't that pretty so pretty Okay, let me see if I can get up a little bit closer and we'll check out the watercolor. Okay, and let's see if you can see this. It looks like, it reminds me of like a blue slushy, like a blue raspberry slushy. It's really bright blue. It's exactly the color it looks like of a slushy. Oh, my water's hot. It's so pretty though. It's a really nice color. bubbler, but we'll see. I don't know that we're going to get many more bubbles than this. telling you this is a really strong scent and this watercolor is gorgeous. So I'm just going to go ahead and hop in the shower real quick and then I'm going to pop in the bath and when I'm done I will let you guys know how it was. See you in a minute. Alright guys, so I'm done with my narwhal tusk and there is nothing left in the tub to clean up whatsoever. Okay, so I already told you of course that the scent was really nice and strong and the watercolor was really pretty. 
but um, the moisture level was nice and medium. This bath bomb does have coconut oil in it. And um, in her Etsy shop right now, she's got a couple of cool Halloween items. She's got a red skull bomb, which is really cool. And I think she's got a cauldron also. So definitely go ahead and check her out. Um, all of the bath bombs that I've had of hers have been really nice. I've really enjoyed them. And I think that I read that she's even been able to drop her shipping prices recently. So definitely go um, check her out. I've got all of her links listed down below. And I think that's really it for today, you guys. Just I appreciate you watching, and I think I'll just see you back here next time. Bye-bye.